friends, chew on this. Matthew 16, verse 19. Matthew 16, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth, and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. And whatever you bind on earth, and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth, whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed, shall have, shall have been loosed in heaven shall have been loosed in heaven. You know, we have the ability to bind and loose. Binding and loosing comes from the heart, from his heart into our heart. The ability to bind and loose. And it comes from these keys that he gives us. The keys of revelation. We're going back to what I shared just earlier. The stones of revelation, the precious stones upon this rock. He said to Peter, I will build my church. I will build by revelation. I will build by revelation. I will build by giving you keys. And with these keys, you will loose my divine purposes and will on the earth, on the earth as it is in heaven. So as it is in heaven would be established and done on earth through the loosing uh, of, of uh, the keys, through the loosing from the mouth. Through the, through the decree of the manifold wisdom, if you will, the multicolored wisdom of God, the multicolored word of God, full of purpose, full of power, full of uh, uh, design to, to uh, create, full of creative power. These are the keys of revelation. These are the keys of the kingdom. God wants to give them to us out of our place of relationship and intimacy with him so we can as a local body as a church establish see the things of God establish and see the things of the enemy forbidden stopped bound cast out in Jesus name you know he shall give you the keys of the kingdom and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. You know, God's already released everything. He's, in him we have been given everything pertaining to godliness and a life of walking with him. He's loosed in heaven. He's given us and blessed us with every spiritual blessing already in heaven. And we want to get a reve revelation of that. We want to receive a key, the keys of understanding, the keys of revelation, the keys of knowledge, the keys of the word of God that's already in the spirit, that's existing and living and active. We want to get a hold of those keys and he will give them to us. And as we exercise those keys, we'll be able to open things on earth, loose things and things from that reality will become uh, uh, manifest on earth. That which is in the fourth dimension will be made known and revealed in this third dimension. The purposes of God, the spiritual realities will become on earth. He wants us to walk in this place of receiving keys, allowing the revelation to flow in our lives and to establish his purposes for us personally, as well as uh, us uh, locally, as a body, statewide, states, and nation, and global uh, uh, purposes. This is the will of God. 
to receive the keys of the he- uh, of the kingdom, uh, the keys of the kingdom and to, of heaven and to loose those things. Speak them forth. Let the word of the Lord come forth out of your mouth. Screaming eagles and keys coming out of your mouth to establish what he has uh, uh, declared to be done and to bind up that which he uh, has not, uh, uh, want for, that which he forbids to happen. We have that authority, friends. Chew on that.